Hi and welcome to my video. My name is Marcin and in today's tutorial I will show you how to uniform skin tones using just one layer. One of the problems that we can face when working in Photoshop with the portrait images is irregularities in the skin tone. So for example on this portrait you can see we have a lot of uh, red kind of shifts, a lot of red spots around the cheekbones. And also we have some yellowish skin tones once we get closer to the lips here. So I want to use some simple technique to fix it all with the one layer. The best way would be creating new empty layer. And this layer I'm going to name skin tone. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to see what a skin tone we actually do have on this image. I'm going to choose B on the keyboard to choose the brush. And what I will do, I will choose the eyedropper to see the different tones that I have on this image. So for example, when I go to these red spots, I'm getting the hue of something 350, uh, sometimes one, which is not really good because it's pure uh, red color and the skin tone is uh, not really landing here. When we go to more natural skin tone, as you can see, the hue should be somewhere more around 15, 20, 25. So the usual range, I would say, uh, could be somewhere between uh, 20 to 30. And as you can see, this is not the case uh, with this portrait. We have really huge uh, range of the colors on the skin. So what I'm going to do, I want to fill this layer with some nice color that can cover these imperfections. So what we could do now, we could paint over this empty layer in the areas where we need that. So we could paint over all over the skin adjust the blending mode to hue and adjust the opacity. But much better option will be using solid color and then working with the mask and making sure that the hue we are going to apply is perfect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to solid color. So this layer is going to get changed and I'm choosing hue around 20. This is the good start, but later on, I still can adjust it better. So I'm going to hit OK and the blending mode, I'm going to change to the hue because the problem here is with the hue. And as you can see, and the image now has pretty much all the same color, but now we are moving to the mask and we are going to work on the mask and paint on the mask. So we don't want to apply it everywhere. So I'm going to invert this mask to black color to do it. Uh, we need to press Command or Control and I. And as you can see, this color is invisible because when the mask is black, the color is invisible. When the mask is white, the color is visible. Now to bring back the effect where I want it, I'm painting over the skin with white color of the brush. So as you can see, the mask is changing here. I can paint all, all over it and because I just want to uniform all of the skin. So I'm painting everywhere except the lips. From what I can see, the neck actually has the hue around 20. So I don't feel the urge to paint over there, just like this. And that looks pretty good, but it doesn't really look natural just yet. So there is a few things I recommend doing. Uh, which is adjust the hue even better. So as you can see by manipulating with the color here, you are able to adjust the hue uh, better uh, to the need of the image. So if you go higher, the image will be more orange, more yellowish. And if you go down to 20 or below, the image will be getting uh, quite red. And to be honest, I think the hue 20 that we set before is uh, quite suitable for this image. 20 range, maybe between eight, 18 to uh, 23. So I'm going to hit OK now. And I feel it's uh, 
unnatural, which I mentioned before. So what I'm doing, I don't really want this to be all flat. I don't want all color to be flat. So I'm reducing the opacity. And once I'm reducing the opacity, I'm letting some of this and uh, this coloration go through. So the image will actually look natural and it doesn't, it, it will not have the same skin tone all over because that also would be a very bad thing to do. If uh, you feel somewhere the color is completely unnecessary, you can of course go back to painting on the mask and choose the black color instead and paint over areas that you don't want to have this effect. So um, make sure you remember about these things. And this is probably the easiest way how you can uniform the skin tones and how you can pretty much remove all of the red shifts that appear on the skin. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Make sure you check link in the descriptions uh, because I offer a few things. I offer things like a free retouching essential course. I have also professional courses on my website and also you can check out my professional retouching portfolio. So thank you for watching and see you next time in the next Photoshop tutorial.